Welcome everybody to the show. On the first part, I showed you how to make these. Small little box, dowel coming out of the back, you stick it into a PVC pipe that goes into the ground. You drop some uh, tannerite on the top. Perfect target. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to do this. Basically what this is, I have two of them here. So basically what this is, is angle iron. Basically welded up a slab, uh, a piece of rebar is re uh, welded onto the back. You shove it into the ground, various uh, distances out, and you have a perfect target. When I say perfect target, I mean this thing cost, um, it was... Let me find a uh, tape measure. I'll, I'll be as accurate as I can. So, these are about 8 inches. So, down the middle, they're 8 inches wide. You got one here, two, three, four. I, I think there were five. I, there might have been four. Let's just say there are four. <clears throat> so, basically, you uh, weld down the seams. When you put it together, you just figure out the best way that it'll fit for you. I weld actually both sides. This side is actually grinded down to make it as smooth as I could, could get. And this side is uh, welded in the uh, hard to reach spots. So I have already taken these out before. So this was one of them. And uh, I'm pretty sure it, um, it, it was up like this. So it was positioned like this towards me. So, hit off the top, um, broke the seam on one, uh, not very much, but probably going to weld that back in. Um, clipped it off the top a couple times. Uh, this was another one, as you can see. It actually sits here like this, towards me, and you can see it goes through very well, I might add. Um, or it will deflect and go go in at an angle. Um, these are definitely reusable more than once. Um, I've already used them once, and I'll take a video of the next time I use them to show you how well they last up. So, uh, this one... Uh, I did have a piece of rebar. Oh, there it is. So, on this one... All you're going to want to do is weld the rebar in the middle. Hopefully I get it right. And then cram it into the ground. And there's your target. I got one more for you. This one by far is the cheapest one you can make. It takes metal and uh, it takes wood. So basically what it is, I don't know how well this thing comes across on the camera because it is so big, but basically what it is, is you got rebar going up both sides, you got rebar going in the middle, you have a piece of angle iron that has been cut for both sides, and then you have another piece of angle iron that actually sits on the top of that. So you take one angle iron. You put it against the rebar, you weld it onto the rebar, and you do it flat on the other side. So it's a flat top up. Make sure it's level. Put a piece of rebar on the top. I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes you can actually hit welds right here in the back. That will actually weld the angle iron onto the other angle iron that is connected to the rebar. I put a brace between it. Um, I also, I put a, a piece of plywood here. I don't have any plywood at the moment, or I would show you this. This is the only plywood I could find around here. So you put a piece of plywood here, and then you take a uh, silhouette or uh, a different form of target, whatever you want to use, and you just... Um, let me narrow this down a little bit here so you might be able to see it. 
Um, you could always go up with this. Crap. So, put a board on it, put a target on it, um, and then you're done. You, all you do is you jam it right into the ground, soft mail it off the top, banging uh, both sides in, and you, you're pretty much done with it. This thing takes about five minutes, maybe ten minutes to make, depending on how quickly you weld. Um, and there you have it. Those are my uh, my three cheapest, easiest targets to make. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you experiment with this. Um, if you do, put a link down at the bottom and I'll check it out. Um, you have a great day. Fantastic weekend. Uh, see you next time.